Hello, my name is Akbar Turshizad and today we're gonna learn how to work with DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor Keyboard. Let's get a start. DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor comes with a USB-C cable for charging. We can connect the cable here for charging. We don't need to connect the cable to work with a Speed Editor. We can do it by Bluetooth. A Speed Editor designed to work mostly on cut page. A speed editor has three areas. We start with this area. This side, we have navigating buttons. In source mode, you can technically find all the clips that you have here, here too, one by one. This one, this one, this, this, this in a sequence. All of them we have here too. And by marking in and out part of each clip or entire of that, you can insert them in your timeline. And in timeline mode, you are able to edit your timeline. We start with searching wheel. Here, we call it searching wheel or searching knob. It has three modes, as you see. The first one is shuttle tab. With this tab, you can go forward and backward in a project level. It also has playback. If you move it and let it go, it keep going. And I leave it and it keep going. With jog mode, you can control individual clips level searching, like this. And a scroll mode is just like jog, but it faster. We start with the left area, which is the trimming area. And also the way that you bring down the clips into your timeline and transition control buttons. The Speed Editor keyboard includes large in and out point button. With these keys, you are able to mark in, then and out. If you want to clear in point, just double tap. That clears the in and it also happens to clear the out. I go to the place that I want to cut, like here for example, press in and then go. Here and press out. If I press double in and double out, I can clear them. In. Out. To insert the clip on the editing point, Press the Smart Insert button. Then I choose another clip. In. Out. Then press Smart Insert. In Cut page, we have two timelines. First, on the top, we have the entire timeline and the bottom one is the zoomed in version. For inserting a clip, the indicator shouldn't be exactly on the edit point. Now, I go to the source and pick another clip. I can pick entire clip instead of part of that, like 
this one. And then just press Smart Insert. As you see, Speed Editor insert this clip between these two clips. To add it to the end of timeline, press the Append button. I go to the source, select this one, and then press Append. As you see, it added to the end. We're going to add another one to the end. Select this one, press Append. If you press Ripple Override, DaVinci will override existing material in the timeline with your new clip and instead of moving everything down to make room for the new clip, it will simply override whatever is on the track. For example, if I put the indicator here, then go to the source and pick part of this clip and press ripple over right. Then you can see what happened. New clip override with the existing one. For making close up shot, first we should be in timeline mode. Then, anywhere that we want to make a close up shot, like this or here, just press the close up shot. Now we have a close up shot. If you want to change the Y position of close-up shot, click on close-up button, hold it, and turn the knob. As you see, I can change it. Here. And this. Place a clip on top is similar to traditional edit function and this edit mode will place the clip on top of the background layer that's already in the timeline. If the timeline doesn't have a layer above the background layer, it will add a new timeline track and then place the clip on top. Go to the source. In. out, then press place on top. This button, source override, is for multicam editing. Now is the time for trimming. For trimming, we should be in timeline area. First thing that you should know is that indicator is a smart, which means it finds the closing editing point and then you can apply any command to that. For trimming in, you hold the trim in bottom, it chooses the edge, and then you can roll it to the right or left. And for trimming out, is the same. Trimming works different in source page. You click in and out, and then click the source, then press the source again, then with pressing trim in and out, you can change in point and out point. Click escape is gonna clear your markers and give you full source. Rolling. If you hold a roll and turn the jog wheel, it's gonna roll the clip, which means taking away a frame from one shot, adding to other one, 
and makes the whole timeline the same length. If you double tap roll key, it let us do shuffle the key around in timeline. With a sleeping, you can change the contents of the clip without changing the edit clip. Sleep source, change everything inside the clip left on indicator. And a sleep destination, change the clip right side of the indication. Transition duration. You can change the transition duration by holding the trans duration button and turning the knob. To make a transition as a default one, double click on this. Then, if you add another transition, it's going to be the same. This key actually doesn't cut the clip. It removes a transition between two clips and change it to a cut. This button adds cross dissolve to the editing point. A smooth cut key uses optical flute technology to blend frames together and create a smooth cut. For example, here I have an A. I wanted to get rid of this. After this, you can see a jump cut. Now here we can add smooth cut. And then make it smaller. Now you can see the result. It's very smooth cut. On the top, there are general keyboard functions. For escaping from something that we are doing, press escape and for undo, double click the same button. For example, here, we can undo the transition we already add. Synchronize bin. This button takes you to the bin that DaVinci made by your synced clips. For changing the audio level, hold the audio level and turn the knob. For changing marker color, double tap and hold the audio level button and turn the knob. You can change the screen into full view and with review watch the timeline from beginning to the end. Interest in world movie continued in this country. It's been a big part of our if you press full view again, you can back to the normal view. For changing the type of transition, hold down the transition button and turn the knob. Then you can see the result. For changing the phone type, you need to double tap on the transition button and hold it and turn the knob. With a split, we can make a new edit point on timeline. As you see, we have a cut here. And again, if you wanna move a clip to a different part in the timeline, double click on the split button, which has move button underneath, and then turn the knob. With this button, you can active and deactive the snapping. For changing viewer size, double click snap button and then hold it, then turn the jog wheel. And if you put playhead over any clip and press ripple delete key, you can get rid of them. In this area, we have multicam keys that we are talking about that in another video. If you have any question, 
please don't hesitate and leave comments. Thanks for watching.